Well, David, it's great talking to you again. Third episode, you're still with us. Thank goodness for that. Your little comment about thinking you might go to elimination got me a little worried, but uh, nothing more worried than watching watching Robbie go. That was pretty scary, but let's start at the beginning. Okay, let's start about that glass breaking. You must feel pretty good having hit two of the glasses out there. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I don't, they didn't really show it on the show, but uh, I pretty much waited my whole life to hit that shot. So I, uh, I kind of had a feeling it was going to be coming up because they don't usually make that later on in the show. And, um, you know, I just, I got up there and I just saw it and hit it. And uh, it, you know, I've hit the flop shot wall, you know, and I've hit the, I've done the glass breaking challenge. So uh, from my standpoint, you know, it was a successful big break. I've, I've accomplished my dreams. <laughs> you know, I've hit those two shots I always dreamt about hitting. Um, but uh, it, it was a great feeling. It was, I can't say it, you know, it's almost kind of like addicting. You hear it. Mm-hmm. And it's like you hear it again and again and again and again and again. And, again. and uh yeah, it was, it was an unreal feeling to do that. Yeah, I bet. Well, it looked like uh, the Canadians had the glass. I mean, between you and Kent, I think, I mean, he hit, what, five and you hit two? It was seven of them out of the nine yeah, players. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he he put on a clinic. He, um, The guys ended up starting to call him Superman a little bit, Russell and Oren. Um, but... Uh, yeah, the Canadian contingency did okay that, that show. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it was interesting to see even at the beginning when people were picking their teammates. And obviously, you know, Robbie picked you right off the bat, which didn't surprise me. John is known for being a strong player. Um, but, uh, yeah, watching Russell and Justin and Carl come in at the second, did, did it surprise you any of the picks that were made? Um, I was surprised about myself. I'm surprised that Shane took me. Um, you know, I, I don't I don't know why. I just you know, there's a whole bunch of guys there and it was a nice feather in my cap that he that he picked mm-hmm. me. Um we actually had a chance to play a practice round together, so uh and I, I played okay that day, so I'm assuming he kind of went up went upon that and uh and I knew he was gonna pick Carl if he wasn't if he was I kinda of figured he'd pick Carl first actually. Mm-hmm. Um but uh he uh he said um it didn't get aired but he was like he they asked, you know, why did he pick us and he said, Well we got the guts, we got the glory and uh, I, I don't even know what it even meant, but all I know is I was dying laughing. So um, it was, it was definitely nice to be chosen first. Yeah, well, I, you know, he's such a, he's such a great guy. And uh, anyway, we're going to get to that when we talk about the elimination challenge. But I am curious about how odd it was that everybody was going after Will and Shank's teams on the glass breaking, and completely not going after Kent's team. How did that all come to be? Like, why do you think that happened? It just it, it 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 just was like everybody was going after. I believe the thought process was everyone was going after us because we were the closest. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then we uh, I think the first shot was taken at will, and so we were like, oh, you know, if you can see the shot and you have the similar stance, you figure you can kind of get in a groove. Even if you missed it, you can kind of react upon the shot you just mm-hmm. did. So um, that was the thought process, and oh, lucky for Kent, Russell, and Oren. Um, they just kind of hung out in the middle. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, it it just kind of, it's funny, you know, I'm watching the show and I, I know this question is going to be asked and it's just kind of the way it happened. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not like it was planned or anything. It's just kind of the way it went mm-hmm. down. Yeah, it was curious, certainly. Well, um, you know, getting through the uh, the second immunity challenge and uh, uh, certainly there was some good shots, there was some great shots, and there was, my coach always says, some good enough shots, but some weren't quite good enough, and you lost your pitching wedge, but I think that was a good thing for you, because you came out with a six at the end, and you called it lucky, but, you know, golf is usually... A- you know what, I actually, in my defense, sorry to cut you off, in my defense, I, I said lucky on the show, and, uh, and you know, sure, we got a nice little kick forward there, uh, it, it wasn't out of a flyer lie, it was with a nine iron down the hill from 135, mm-hmm. playing like probably 120, mm-hmm. And then in the desert, like 115, um, and from our angle, we thought it like hit in the like in the bunker, oh. like like an inch over the bunker. And I saw it, and it was, it was fine. I mean, it was, I missed six feet, maybe. Yeah. I mean, it was okay. I got a little bit lucky, but I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> well, usually the luck that I get on a golf course is all bad. So yes, take it while you can. You know, you, you make your own luck. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm. Well, you know, we, let's talk about the. Um, some of the comments that have been made throughout the show uh, tonight. Uh, Russell said that he thought you had something against him. Now, you beat him square out the first two shows, but you didn't call him out. 
I right. mean, you did call out the glass this no, time, but, you know, everybody was calling out, so, you know. It, it was just kind of, you can't go from one team to another team. Yeah. You know, you you have to go, I think I took out Oren first, and then I'm an idiot, and I should have took out Kent, because that would have solved everybody's problem. <laughs> um, but uh, I, and then the next I went to Russell, I mean, if I went from Oren to Will, mm-hmm. Well, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't, you know what I mean? So if you can wipe out a team, which was my goal, I just wanted, my goal was to run through everybody yep. because, I mean, how cool would that be? <laughs> you know, and how great would that be for Shank and Carl? Um, but, yeah, and it didn't happen. But that's kind of, I definitely, nothing against Russell, and uh, I'm sure, I think you actually might have just sent me a text here, but um, it's it's fun watching the show and seeing the comments. Uh, love some of them dislike some of the other ones, yeah. but uh, it, it's fun to see how it's all put together. Yeah, no, there's definitely a, this is a show of comments. Some of them were hilarious, which is mostly what came out of Shank's mouth as he was talking to his ball. Oh, uh, isn't that guy yeah, the best? Yeah, he's such the best, yeah. It's, no question. You just, you can't, you can't help, like, anybody who doesn't like that, I just, I can't understand anybody who doesn't like yeah. him. He's, he's my favorite on the show. <laughs> yeah, no, I think... It, I'm watching the show and I can't wait for Shank to be Yeah, there. no, I, you never know what's going to come out. It's, it's terrific. Well, let's talk a little bit then about um, the fact that the way the set set up of the show, you know, you got to pick your teams. Typically, you pick, you know, good players, but also people that you like. I mean, tendency to do that. Yeah. And um, suddenly now you're playing against the people you picked. So it's like, oh man, you know, it's you no know, wonder watching Carl cry after, you know, taking out um, yeah. Robbie or Shank was just. It was. It just blew my mind. What were you guys all thinking when you're watching all of that drama it, unfold? It, you know what, it, uh, people don't, and watching the show, people really don't understand how close we became. Mm-hmm. And Robbie and Carl had this bond, like, immediately. And, because they're so different, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Shank just kind of goes and goes with whatever, and, and Carl is so analytical. Mm-hmm. And, like, the reason, you know, they didn't end up showing it, but when I, I was asked the question, you know, why didn't we move our boxes back? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Carl told us not to, so we didn't. <laughs> I know he had his <laughs> you know, own... Carl had it all figured out. About, you know, he had it all figured out, and, you know, sure, you know, Carl had it figured out. So um, people didn't really understand. I mean, it was tough. Like, I I came, I became pretty close with, with Shank and uh, and Carl and, and, and Will and Kent and whatnot um, on the show, and even Oren. You know, people don't understand how close we all kind of became. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, Justin wasn't uh, involved in the camaraderie too, too much, but um, we became so close. So well, I think Shank put it best, you know, you've got to be selfish at some point, and uh, you have to remember that you're here for yourself and your family or whoever whoever you're playing for. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's it's like once you're safe, you're like, okay, great, but then you're like, oh, man, this, this guy, this friend of yours is going to Elimination Challenge. And for, for most of us, Shank... I mean, nobody wants to see Shank go home. Let's get serious, mm-hmm, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was, it, and and Carl was the one who put him there, and they were roommates, and uh, it it was definitely, um, yeah, it was definitely uh, very heartfelt uh, what Carl had to say. Yeah, well, I, I just, you know, if Shank ever goes home, I don't know what's going to happen to Carl because that was just was too much, and it was so heartwarming, especially when you watched some of the other people in there. Um, well, comments that were uncalled for in many instances. I mean, Kent was brutal on some things. He, I know he tends to just blurt out some stuff, but uh, yeah. that, you know, his blurting can get a little tiresome. And then Justin is just so full of himself. I mean, he was just, and so not not portraying the sort of the gentleman attitude we expected at the end of the show. And I just kind of wanted you to talk in general about some of the comments you heard tonight. You hadn't probably heard them before. Or you saw the way they edited it and stuff. Um, are they? Is something being painted here of either player to make them stand out as being a bit, you know, not with the program? Um, you know what? I think I think you know going into it, uh, Ken told me he's like, you know, man, hey, I'm just gonna call it like it is, and and if people are gonna like it, so that, that I'm being honest, or people are gonna hate it, that I'm being honest. Mm. And in in Ken's defense, people just don't seem to like his honesty. Mm. Um, most of the stuff he's saying, albeit be blunt. Mm. It's kind of the truth. I mean, maybe not the whole worst putt he's ever seen in the world. I mean, yeah. you know that that might have, that might not have been great, but the stuff he's saying is is pretty legit. I mean, I would never say I, you know, I, I'm not one to kind of chirp at that too many too many people. But um, and then also on top of that, you know, people 
I think it's different because because Justin, uh, you know, from what I understand, he's he's quite a good player, um, and and you know he tells us that as well. But <laughs> yes. uh, Kent Kent has kind of proven himself on the show. I mean, has he really missed a shot yet? You know, no, he no, really hasn't. No, I mean, it... so he 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 kind of I guess he I mean, while I would never say some of the stuff he says, he kind of. You know, I guess he's kind of, in a way, earned the right. You know, he just kind of sits on the bench and analyzes things just because he doesn't really have too much of a job to do. He goes out and hits his one or two shots and uh, breaks everybody's glass and calls it a day. Mm. You know, so uh, definitely from Kent's standpoint, um, his just his his one-liners are, uh, I guess, eye-catching. Um, and then for Justin, you know, I, I think he was a bit misunderstood uh, from everybody. Um, you know. And he would probably just wanted to go there and he wanted to win and he didn't really care about making friends. And to be honest with you, I went in there with the same attitude of, I don't really know what to expect. I'm going to take care of myself and that's my goal. Um, but once you get there, everybody is so deserving to be there. Mm. Um, you know, all 11 of us have a different story, a cool story. And uh, I mean, my attitude completely changed. And, uh, you know, I consider these guys to be like great friends of mine now. Mm. Um, so it's, it's kind of been... Uh, I know it's sort of a different tale for Justin, and I'm, I'm sure uh, some of the stuff he said might have got edited a bit, but from what I watched tonight, I was, um, I guess, disappointed would be the, the I guess, like, politically correct word. Yeah. Um, it just, he just said some things that were, you know, they weren't even rude, they were kind of mean. Yeah, you know? yeah, no, and you could, <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, that's, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I wonder if he had a chance to do it over again, if he would... Uh change some of those things but i guess we will never know that yeah. never know well david right. you know it was a great show i have to tell you uh, heart was in my throat through a lot of it uh, Me too. And, uh, and you <laughs> knew what was going to happen so <laughs> you had an advantage i know i but i'm watching this with my girlfriend and my hands are sweating and i know i'm going to be okay and it's it's uh it's it's brutal it is. watching it. it is yeah well is there anything you want to close with today anything you want to say before we close off i'm uh, happy that shank's still around and um Next week, next week's going to be another uh, interesting and fun show. Yeah, I can see that. The preview looks terrific. Well, David, it, yeah. again, thank you so much. You're so great to be always available for these interviews, and I can't wait to talk to you again next week. And you have a great night and a great week. Yes, you too. You too. Thanks so much. Okay, take care.